Hello folks, and welcome to the Grand Spectacular Figure 8 Not Dying Extravaganza! Man, that is a long name. Who came up with that? Tonight, ah. Sorry, technical difficulties. My name is Kyrum Hondi, and I will be your commentator for these games. Hopefully I'll do better than the Olympic commentators, am I right? Tonight we have a fantastic lineup of competitors, including YouTubers Court Climbs, the fan favorite, Robbie Phillips, Hannah Morris, Nathan Betts, Courtney Warren, and several more! How will these competitors stack up? Let's find out. First up, we've got the fan favorite, Court Climbs. Court Climbs comes to us with an impressive list of stats, including being the only climbing YouTuber to have three cats named after fruits. If you're not already subscribed to her channel, you definitely should be, especially after this performance. Let's watch and see how it goes. Ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh gosh. I feel like it's when, like, when someone asks you to play a guitar song, you're like, I don't know any songs. Done. <laughs> I think you got it. I that don't was know. Fast. I don't know. I think that, that was fast. Good. That's close. That's, a good That's one. close. It's gonna be. It's gonna be close. Ah, and with a time of 14.01 seconds, Court puts herself on the board. Let's see if Robbie Phillips can beat that. All right. Thanks, Courtney, for inviting me to do this little figure eight competition. Competition. First go, best go. Let's go for it. You ready? Oh god. Fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. Oh no, it's getting stuck. Come on. God, I'm so slow. Come on. Boom. Done. Have a look at that. I think you'd pass with that. I think I passed. I mean I got a little bit of a little bit of like length there. Can you do a stop or not? You with can that definitely tail? do a stop or not. Look, boom, Don't, stop or not done. But did you ever ask for a stop or not? So it's all good. <laughs> the judges are deliberating an official time, but while we do that, let's get a slow mo replay of that action. What I love about Robbie's effort here is that he's really putting the sound effects into his performance. It just adds to it, you know. And the judges are back, and it seems that Robbie has slid his way into first place with an official time of 13.22 seconds, almost a whole second ahead of Court Climbs, pushing him into the early lead. It's not over yet, folks, as on deck is competitor Hannah Morris. Hannah comes to us primarily as a boulderer, so her skills may be a little rusty, but nevertheless, we are grateful to have her here. Does Hannah have what it takes? Let's find out. Oh, we got some speed. <laughs> I don't think it's very long. Oh, you made me put a stopper in. To be fair, I'm happy that I remember how to do it after like two years. Yeah. I don't, the stop is questionable, but. Looks textbook, that. Ah, and with a time of 30.24 seconds, that puts Hannah into third place, but there's still many competitors that could snatch that podium win away from her, including Andrew. Andrew is a local Ohio climber known most for his precision-like movements and extremely great sewing skills when it comes to making not only clothing, but also premium chalk bags. Will his skills with a thread and needle translate to his figure eight time performance? Let's find out. All right, ready? This is Andrew. Andrew, are you ready? No, but I'll do it anyway. Three, two, one, go. Uh... Oh no, we're off to a slow start, but we still can recover. Yeah, I don't have a sun. So. Come on, come on, come on. Do you have enough tail? I think I will. Oh yeah. Boom. Done. Alright, we'll have to see. Ah, and with 
with a time of 18.20 seconds, Andrew manages to snatch the podium finish away from Hannah. I was very concerned with the start and that slight hesitation, but he managed to stick it through. That's really what nerves will do to you, folk. Ah, and speaking of nerves, here's a competitor to the hash zone. Once again, a boulderer, Nathan Betts from Nathan Betts Bouldering. The creator of one of my favorite climbing videos I've ever seen, Pumped. A video about his sport climbing trip to El Chiro. Let's see how his video editing skills translate to this figure eight tying competition. I haven't practiced this in a while. I should be able to tell. Do you want to say go? Go. <laughs> and with a time of 25.04 seconds, Nathan has managed to shave 5 seconds off the reputation of the boulders, but not quite enough to snag the win from Robbie Phillips. Will anyone beat Robbie? This is ridiculous. Anything can happen in the grand, spectacular, extrava, get the, the knot tying competition, right? Like, who made this name? Our next participant hails to us from Canada, Courtney Warren of Courtney Warren Climbing. Hey, Courtney from Courtney Climbs. <laughs> it's Courtney from Courtney Warren Climbing. Uh, thank you for letting me participate in this. It's time to see how fast I can make a figure eight knot. Um, Hopefully this goes well, <laughs> and I, I, hopefully I get points for like how nice it looks. Let's see. Okay. Style points in this prestigious event. Ah, uh, well, gotta love the optimism. Carry on. Um, <laughs> how do I want to start? Shit. Uh, okay. Um, three, two. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Gee, oh, gee. Okay, come on, come on. Oh my god, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, it's too long. It's way too long. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Does it look pretty? But look, it's perfect though. Like, it's a perfect knot though. Right? There you go. I should get style points for that. Right? <laughs> and it's the right length. Thank you again. Hopefully, hopefully I got the fastest time. I don't think so though. <laughs> I stumbled a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. Have a good one. And with a time of 20.05 seconds, Courtney Warren puts herself onto the board, but not to be confused with Court Climbs, currently in second place, right behind Robbie Phillips. Let's talk to John Q, who has one thing on his mind. John really wants to be Robbie. What are you gonna do if you beat him? Uh... Are you just gonna be stoked? Well, what do we get for winning? I'm gonna give them a clout medal. A clout medal? Yes. A clout medal. We're doing it for the clout. <laughs> Alright, All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, okay. Alright, that looks good. I. That was close. I'm gonna have to look at it in post. <laughs> and in an absolutely mad turn of events, it seems that John Q's determination to win has pulled him just ahead of all the other competitors, including Robbie Phillips, with a time of 13.11 seconds, just point one second ahead of Robbie Phillips, putting him in first place. What an incredible, astounding performance from John Q. Ah, and a big thank you to everyone that participated in the grand, spectacular, figure eight knot tying competition extravaganza. I hope I got that right, and I hope I don't ever have to say it again. And thank you to all of those of you who are watching out there in the stand. We appreciate your support. As always, thank you so much, and stay hyped. All right, guys, I've got the very prestigious clout medal. 
and uh, John's on his way home from a climbing trip. He should be here any minute and we'll crown him the winner. Oh wow, the clout medal. Congratulations. The clout, the clout medal. Medal of clout. <laughs> For America, number one.